If you are the one that used to doubt God, what can God do? This is the way we used to do it. This is the way we used to do it. Nothing happened. And I've been going to church for many years. Nothing happened. If there's any doubt in your heart this, this time, I want you to please remove that from your heart. Because today is your set time. Your set time of visitation is today. In the mighty name of Jesus. All I want to do is to lift up your face with the next 15 minutes. Then God himself will touch you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to open with me as we go straight to today's topic. Don't, don't concentrate on your unpleasant situation. Do not concentrate on your unpleasant situation. Unpleasant situation or your, or your present situation. Anyhow. Because where you are now, don't concentrate on that. You need to live above that. Let your mind be set above that. Because the Bible has said something. And the word of God will never cease until fulfillment comes. I said the word of God will not stop until the fulfillment comes. We have had some series of testimony. That is the fulfillment of the word of God. The word of God is coming to you right now. And this word of God will make impact in your life. And you will get the next, and you will prepare yourself for the next testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want somebody to open with me, John chapter 16, verse 33. This thing I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation. But be of good chance, I have overcome the world. That is from the God Almighty, from the Bible. Don't concentrate on what is happening to you now. Your situation could be sickness. Your situation could be barrenness. Your situation could be blindness. Your situation could be poverty. Your situation could be destiny failure. But listen to this. Do not concentrate on that situation right now. Because God has something better for you. Say, God has something better for me. When? Today. When? Today. Are you ready for that today? Are you ready for that today? Because the word of God will not cease until it comes to fulfillment. God is going to fulfill his words concerning you today. The promises of God in your life is going to be fulfilled today. In this altar, at this time, at this minute, God is visiting somebody. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I have said of blindness. I have said of poverty. I have said of, of fruitfulness. I have said so many things that is not in alignment that is not giving God the joy. That may be where you are now. But God himself is not happy with that. I say God himself is not happy with your barrenness. If somebody expecting fruitfulness today, then that your barrenness is just a thousand period. And it will soon roll away. It's rolling away right now. And you will be fruitful. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you sick right now? You are here. That is just a temporary situation. Very soon, within the next few minutes, you are going to encounter Jesus. Remember, any time you meet with Jesus... Jesus will change your life. Are you ready to be changed today? Are you ready for that change today? Because no one, no one go through the Bible up to today, up to this minute. No one meet with Jesus and remain the same. No one. So your situation could be that you are poor, but today you are going to meet with Jesus and Jesus is going to change your poverty to what? To prosperity. Is somebody expecting that now? Receive it anywhere you are. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you barren and you are looking for 
fruitfulness. Remember, today is your day. I say, today is your day. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are here. You are qualified to marry. You are a lady. You are a boy. And you want to marry. But for now, there's nothing good. You are not seeing anything good. You are not seeing anyone that is suitable. You are not seeing the best man. You are not seeing the best lady. That means there's blindness right now in your eye. And who is going to remove it? Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is in the house. After this service, you are going to see your best one today. In the mighty name of Jesus. And after now, get set for your wedding ceremony. Am I speaking to somebody? I say get set for your wedding ceremony. In the mighty name of Jesus. Don't ask God how he's going to do it. But all I know that it is possible. It is possible for God to do all this. Because it is impossible for man. Now it is possible for God. It's too opposite. But right now, who are you going to follow? Is it man or God? Today is your day in the mighty name of Jesus. I want somebody to read Isaiah chapter 5. Isaiah chapter 54. Yes, let's go to 54. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 2. Enlarge the place of thy tent. God is speaking to somebody. Who is that? God is speaking to somebody. Enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of the habitation. Spare not, letting thy cord and strengthen thy stay. Are you getting prepared for that mass transformation? God is talking to you. Enlarge your tents. Get prepared. You are poor before. That is your present situation. But I'm telling you, within the next few seconds, you are going to transform. Because when Jesus met with a man, he must cause changes. That changes is going to take place right now. And God is telling you now to get prepared by enlarging your tent, by getting prepared for this great transformation that is coming on your way. I hope somebody will say amen. amen. Because if you are expecting something, you say amen to yourself. So that you will on it. You will get it today. It will not miss you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Verse 3 says, For thou shalt break forth on the right hand. Somebody say amen. For thou shalt break forth on where? On your right hand and on your left. And thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate city to be habited. Who is that? Who is that going to, who is going to inhabit the city? The city is ripe. Everything is ripe for you. I say everything is ripe for you. Who is hearing my voice now? Jesus said, get prepared for everything is ripe for you. As many of you that is ready right now. Because so many of you, you are going preparing to enter. There is a train, divine train, financial train that is ready right now. There is a financial train that is ready to pick up. It's ready to move now. And it's expecting people to come in and enter and board this train right now. And you can only enter that train if you have the ticket. The ticket is just the fate. He doesn't take you anything to purchase the ticket right now but it's just the fate you need. If you have the fate now, you are going to enter enter that financial train that is about to pick up. Who is ready to enter that financial train? He doesn't take you anything. All you need to do is to get connected. Is to believe the word of God. The word of God, they are here and amen. No man can change it because God has said it and it's recorded. The Bible is complete and when you believe in that Bible, your life is complete. Your life is complete. Your life is complete. I say your life is complete. Say my life is complete. 
It doesn't matter what they have done to you. They said, yes, we have seized your finances. Yes, we have said you are not going to serve God. Yes, your salvation will not come. Whatever they have done against your marriage, they said, yeah, you are not going to get married. That has been the habit of this very family. You are going to be, in fact, many course we we come and go and you will not get married but let me tell you jesus christ is breaking that barrier today i said jesus christ is breaking that call today whatsoever that have been done on the secret god is going to expose it at this moment i said god is going to expose it here in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ god is going to expose everything they have done even before you were born there are some things you are not even aware. Yeah, on Friday, I was giving an illustration of somebody that uh, if I they have all the things, and he said, no, what I need now is power. I need to act acquire power so that when I speak here, everybody will hear like Obama. I need power. And the next thing they said, yeah, the Satan will always get prepared for you because they know you will come. If you are not in the Bible, it's either you are in the Lord or you are on the other side. They said, come, we give you the power. What do you need? Power? We can give it to you. But you need to do one thing. All you need to do is to make sacrifice. What is that sacrifice? It's by making sacrifice. Giving up all your grandchildren. All your grandchildren, give them all. That means you are not going to have grandchildren. That is the only sacrifice you are going to do. As for now, the man looked at himself. He said, ah, what do I need? I have several children already. And he's, he's talking about grandchildren. grandchildren. He doesn't mean I'm not there yet. See, when somebody is greedy, he can do all things. Be very careful. He said, no, I have, I have several children already. I don't need any other thing. If that's what you want, I'm ready to comply. My grandchildren, no, zero. Okay, I'm okay with that. And he went into that agreement with the devil. And they gave him that power. And when the first, the second, to the fifth one, they are now very big. And they need children. And they begin to walk from one place to another looking for children. Ah, why am I like this? I'm, in fact, I've got married now for several years, some ten years, and I any children, why is it like this? They begin to move from one place to another. But it came to a time, one time they met with the right prophet. He said, no, you have a problem. The problem you have now is that you are not even aware but before you were born, your forefather came and he said he's making sacrifice of the grandchildren and we gave him power. Because of that, that is why you are not having children. But from today, we are going to break that barrier. Mighty name of Jesus, name of Jesus. Jesus is breaking your barrier today. If that's your case, you have experienced such case even before you were born. They said nobody get prosper in this family. No money come in. Nobody get married. The least one that will marry, in fact, you will even go there, you will not have children. If that is your case, today is your day. God is going to break that barrier in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that is how that barrier was broken for many years. That barrier was broken and they begin to have their children to cut their story short. What is your situation? Is your situation not giving, you know, not giving help? God is not happy with your situation. And if God is not happy with your situation, that means God is concerned about that particular situation. How many of you, when you, when you are not happy about the situation, he gave you sleepless nights, is it not? He gave you sleepless nights and you begin to think of it. What do I do next? What do I do? That means you are concerned about that situation. That's what God is saying. He said your own situation, you are not happy about it. He's giving God concern. Sign. And God is finding solution. When? Today. God is going to give you your, your solution. In the mighty name of Jesus. One thing is sure. If you want to get the perfect solution. Not unlike the other man. The other man was looking for power. He went for where there is no power. When they will give one, they will request for ten. They will give half, they need twenty. But if you need the perfect solution, there's one place you go. The only place you go is to meet with Jesus. You are meeting up with Jesus today. And Jesus is going to give you your perfect situation. He's going to give you your perfect solution. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And verse 4, which is the last verse, say, is saying to you, Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. God will not put you to shame. I say, God will not put you to shame. In the name of Jesus Christ. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth. Yes, that shame, it used to be like this. 
God is going to make you to forget about that time. The time you feel the pain. The time you feel problem around. He said God is going to help you. And from today, you will forget about the past. And you are going to live a new life. Your solution has come today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say your own solution has come today. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 14. Who is reading for me? Let me have it on the screen. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 14. is talking to you. You the believer, you have seated. He said, thou shall be blessed above all people. Ah, everywhere is silent. Everywhere is silent. Everywhere is silent. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For thou shall be blessed above all people. For there shall be no male or female barren among you, among your cattle. I, that is God's statement for you. You will not bury in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are not, if you, if you may, maybe you have got married for 20 years, 15 years, we've seen in this altar somebody came with twins, twins coming to testify in this altar after about 15 years. Am I speaking to somebody? Are you aware of, uh, uh, about, um, um, what is the name? Sister Pat. Sister Pat came here with Twins, after about 15 years. I don't know how long you have remained in that situation. Don't be moved. Don't worry. Don't allow those things to take away your soul. Because Jesus is about to do something remarkable in your life. All he has been after is to wait for you. God wants those people who can be so patient with God, who can stay with God no matter what I'm passing through. Yes, I am ready to walk with Jesus. Such people, God is visiting you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is not happy about those lazy people who cannot pray. People who cannot, in fact, all they need to go is just every, every week, just one day. On Sunday, I am in the church. Even that Sunday I come to church, I'm looking at my time. I'm looking at my time. God will not be happy with such people. But as many that are hearing my voice this morning, you have been so patient and this thing has been on for years and you keep on saying, Jesus, you are the one that will remove this problem because you are the one that created me. He said, I have come this morning to meet with such people and I'm going to remove that your sorrow now in the mighty name of Jesus. Your sorrow is over. I say, your sorrow is over. Your time of pain is over. Your time that you shut yourself inside the house and you begin to cry is over. What is that sickness that is in your life? And the doctor said, no, is he, the doctor is just saying that it is incurable. Why? Because no man can cure it. Man, man in quote, man, M-A-N, can cure it. That man could be doctor. Doctor cannot care, cure their sickness. That is what God, I mean, that is what the man is saying. But God is telling you that in me, there is life. We read uh, John chapter 6 verse 33. He said, in me, there is what? There is comfort. There is happiness. But in the world, there is tribulation. When you go out there in the world, you face a lot of challenges. You face a lot of persecution. You face a lot of, you know, talking. You know, mommy was telling that man, he said, don't bother, don't just, don't, don't feel what people are saying about you. All you need to do is to concentrate the word of God because by the time you feel what people are saying, what are they saying about me? You are going to run away from the will of God. You begin to do things now that will make people say positive about me. If you know you are in the law, Keep on in that faith. Keep on pressing forward. Don't bother about what people are saying. What you say about yourself is what people will echo. Is somebody hearing me? 
Is somebody hearing me? If you are here this morning, you said, I am defeated already. I am finished. Yes, they said, they said, they said, they said. Yes, in my family, nobody makes it. The same thing is happening right now. Ah, that means I am in that lineage. If you say that, so shall it be. But when you say this morning, that whatsoever is happening by my side, by my left, by my right, anywhere is for them. But as for me, I am not moved because I know whom I serve. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, it is the same today and forevermore. He is going to help you. He is going to help you right now. He is going to help you right now. What are you passing through? What are you passing through? Satisfaction in life is not money. It's not children. What is satisfaction in life? Satisfaction in life is about knowing God. Money, 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 children, they give you happiness. But satisfaction comes from God. Satisfaction is from God. I've seen people who have children, who have money, but there is no satisfaction. Is somebody ready for satisfaction this morning? God is the one that can give you satisfaction. And he's going to give you right now. Because you are ready, God will give you your satisfaction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The greatest thing Satan, Satan do is to go to good people. To confuse them. To make sure that he cut them off from the will of God. That is all target. Satan target the good people. He go to them to make sure that he cut them off from the will of God. Don't forget, the wife of Job said to Job, he said, just curse God and die. But the man said, I will not. Are you going to say to the devil, when they come to you, he said, because of this situation is too much for me. This load is too much. I am ready to die. That is why I say, whatever you say to yourself is what matters, is what not people are saying. Because as for me, I will not be moved. I know who I serve. My salvation, my satisfaction, my increase, my prosperity, my favor, whatsoever I need come from the Father. And God is about to give to you. Even right now, as you are hearing me, in the name of Jesus Christ. In John chapter 5, verse 2 to 9, we are not going to read. Jesus met with a man who had been sick for 38 years. For 38 years. That man had been sick 38 years. You know what it is? That man had been sick. But when Jesus met with him, his life changed and he was healed. I said the man was healed after 38 years. Are you sick right now for many years? It could be less than 38. It could be more than 38. But as you are going to meet with Jesus right now, God is going to heal your situation. I said God is going to come into your case right now. And you are going to be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to know that Jesus is the final. Say Jesus is the final. Do you believe that Jesus is the final? It's about to do something in your life right now. We are going to stop here. Jesus is the final. Say it to yourself. And that is what he's going to do in your life right now. Because he's the final, he owns the key to your life. I say what? He owns the keys to your life. And he is going to determine for you. He is going to bless you. He is going to protect you. He is going to mend you with you. Even when the Satan come up, he is going to cut them all. I say he's going to cut them all. That sickness in your life, that disease in your life is going to go today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say to yourself, God, expose, expose, expose my spiritual darkness today in the mighty name of Jesus. Any spiritual darkness in your life is going to be exposed today from this altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you are there, we are going to stop here because if you go to Luke chapter 7 verse 18, you can see a widow. A widow was a widow child was restored. A widow child that was dead was restored. These are the miracle God carry out. Even is still inactive. God is still here right now. I don't know what is dead in your life. God is going to restore them at this hour. I say God is going to restore them at this hour. This is an altar of restoration. How many of you know? This is the altar of restoration. And if Jesus. Uh, 
Our Lord is good. My name is Nicholas Chinere Iguanyama. I was here last week to testify to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. This week again, God has given me a testimony. Amen. Our Lord sees everything. First and foremost, I thank him for his healing hands upon my household. We have never been sick. He has been so glorious in our life. We thank him, we glorify him in the name of Jesus. We thank God also for the woman of God and the man of God God has used to bless us. Always, she tells us, pray, 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 and be connected. Amen. Last week, Sunday, after the pray, uh, prayer here, the meeting, mommy asked us to come with a bottle of anointing oil, which we came with. After prayer, and no, all what not, because my son, the one in Nasrawa, he got a new apartment. So he has not packed his things because somebody was in that room. So on Monday after the service, he was going to the school. Something uh, came into me and said, we can go with this anointing oil. Before you pack in your tent, anoint the four edges of the room before you pack in your tent. He said, okay. So getting there, he did the way I instructed him. He and uh, one of my daughter's friends, they went together. They, they said, immediately they got they anointed the place and slept. That night, dog, were backing up and down, that they cannot sleep, they everywhere that they have to stand up that night and start praying in the middle. That is at 12 p.m. He said in the morning, they woke up, sorry, 1 a, a, a 12 a.m. They woke up the landlady and said, uh -uh, Mommy, look at what, he said this one is strange, Joe, that it has not been happening here. Maybe something smell you people's presence and they started backing. The girl laughed. Then, when she was taking, uh, when she went to take her bed, she said the place she hung her grandpa in the bedroom, one dog came and uh, uh, entered the air. She flicked it out with fear and then went in. After going up and down for her resort, when she came back again, in the keyhole, the same one dog went and rolled itself there. Out of fear, she could not kill the one dog. You know we female and the way we do. Then she flicked it out again. The one dog a small hole near the listing. She used another anointing oil and pour into it. So she called me. She said, Mommy, I feel there is something about this room that uh, Ebuka is entering. Look, look, look. I said, don't worry. There is some elements we don't know, but God knows all about that is habitating itself in that room. But because of the anointing oil, which they have poured in there, that uh, God has now to lay their head and they cannot come into that room because a greater fire is in that room so that's why they are rolling up and down <laughs> praise the lord this is the anointing oil i use we i bought it by myself here and then mommy anointed it as she anointed every other person's own i just want to tell her that this anointing oil the anointing this we buy from this altar carries fire Somebody shout fire! Fire! Please don't uh, um, underrate what you have. Don't underrate what you have. They are so powerful. Praise be the name of the Lord. I will hold on to today. Next time I'm coming back.
You snake? Bye fire. Are you praying? You are quiet. Evil spirits. Money spirits. Mommy water spirits. Family idol. Say family idol. Family idol. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Fire! 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 Fire you! Fire! Fire you! You have no power. Fire all over you! Boom! Fire! Fire! Fire. On your legs, Glass fire. on your clothes, Glass fire. on your body, Glass fire. on your body, Glass fire. Boom. by fire, Boom. by fire, Boom. by fire, your head bone, by, by fire, your head bone, by fire, your crown bone, by fire, your crown bone, by fire, your ring bone, by fire, take your rings, by fire, take your tools, by fire, take your rings, by fire, take your clothes, by fire, your fire, by fire, fire body, fire, fire body, fire, fire body, fire, 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 your legs, fire, your boss, fire, your boss, your shrine. Until you restore 
If you like, cry from here to Jericho. You will not be left. Today is today. Every day for the thief. One day for the owner. Give me fire on your legs. Fire. Fire on your legs. Fire. Fire on your head. Fire. Fire all over you. Fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Your clothes burn. By fire. Your head burn. By fire. Your powers burn. By fire. Your powers burn. By fire. Your head burn. By fire. Your body burn. By fire. Fire burn you. Fire. Fire burn you. By fire. Your shrine. Fire. All your covenants. Catch fire. All your powers. Catch fire. They burn. By fire. They burn. By fire. If you are ready to talk, you let me know. Fire on you now. Fire. On your head. Fire. In your ears. Fire. On your head. Fire. On your clothes. Fire. All over you. Catch fire. On your trousers. Catch fire. On your trousers. Catch fire. On your clothes. Catch fire. In your shrine. Fire. Fire on you. Fire. Fire on you. Fire. Boom. By 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 fire. Fire on your head. Fire. All over you. Fire. On your head. Fire. On your head. Fire. On your rings. Fire. On your paws. Fire. On your rings. Fire. On your paws. Fire. On your rings. Fire. On your legs. Fire. Fire on you. Fire. All over you. Fire. 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 By fire, 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 by are you ready to talk? If you are ready to talk, I will stop the fire. Are you ready to talk? Who are you in this body? I say, who are you in this body? What have you done to her? What have you done to this girl? Fire. Fire. On your body. Fire. On your body. Fire. On your clothes. Fire. On your legs. Fire. In your shrine. Fire. In your altar. Fire. Boom. By fire. Boom. By fire. Boom. By fire. Boom. By fire, Boom. by fire, 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 catch fire, catch fire, your clothes, catch fire, Boom. by fire, your body, catch fire, Boom. by fire, Boom. by fire, Boom. by fire, your tongue, catch fire, your mouth, catch fire, fire your mouth, 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 fire, all over you, catch fire, all your powers, fire, all your powers, catch fire. Who are you now? Are you ready to talk? What did you do to her? What have you done to her? You are speaking already. Okay, now, don't worry. You need more fire. Holy Ghost, descend your fire. Angels of God, burn this demon. Angels of God, burn this demon. Burn this demon. Angels of God, slap this demon. Slap this demon. Beat this demon. Beat this demon. Angels of God, come to rise Come to rise this demon. Flog this demon. Flog this demon. On the legs, on the head, on the legs. On the body, all of her fire upon you, 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 fire upon your tongue, fire, fire upon your clothes, fire. your head burn, by fire. your rings burn, by fire. your body burn, by fire. your rings burn, by fire. your rings burn, by fire. your fire, fire, fire on you, fire on your face, Cut fire. on your clothes, Cut fire. all over you, fire. in your eyes, Cut fire. in your eyes, Cut fire. in your head, Cut fire. all over you, fire, all over you, fire, 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 fire. 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 Spirit, that fire, that fire, that fire, that fire, that fire, fire. Are you ready? Are you ready to talk? Fire upon you, fire, 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 all over you, that fire, boom, by fire, boom, by fire, boom, by fire, on your face, fire, fire on your face, fire, fire on your face, fire, fire on your face, fire, in your powers, that fire, fire in the face, fire, fire on your face, fire, fire on your face, fire, boom, by fire, boom, by fire, all over, fire, fire now. Look at the demon. Look at it. Look at the demon. 
If the demon is hesitating, put it on the floor. You will see fire abundant. Are you ready to talk now? All your powers will be destroyed. Yes. Go to where? Where did you come from? Eh? Just leave me alone. I want to go. Where are you going to? To go. Where did you come from? I want to go. You came from where? I want to go. I just want to go. You came from where? I just want to go. I said you came from where? You came from where? Fire have not burnt you. You will see now. More fire. More fire. What have you done to her? I just want to go. You will restore everything, then you go. I just want to go. Are you ready to give her her destiny? I want to go. Let Are you ready to give her her destiny? <laughs> you want to run away with her destiny? I'm not in possession of her destiny. Then who are you? Hey. What are you in possession of? Hey. What are you in possession of? Just the way she live her life. I just control her. That's all I do. Nothing more. Eh? You where she what? I just controlled her. I you control her. She do whatever I want. Nothing more. <laughs> Nothing more. <laughs> you did what? <laughs> you know you are a liar. <laughs> I want to go on. What did you do to her? <laughs> what did you take from her? Who are you to ask me questions? Oh. <laughs> I want to show you who I am. Fire on you! Fire! In your face! Fire! In your mouth! Fire! For asking me! Fire! Fire on you! Fire! Example! Fire! 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 On your head! Fire! Who are you? Fire! 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 Holy Ghost! Fire! On your head! Fire! On your head! Fire! In your face! Fire! 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 Boom! 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 Fire! Fire! See demon, somebody that God. I am coming. God will give me angels to walk. You are asking me who are you? <laughs> eh? You are not afraid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Eh? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Down and say, I'm sorry. Down. Down and say sorry. Shall fire. Fire. This is how you will control your enemies. Amen. When you speak, they will obey. Amen. When you speak, they will say you. Amen. Fire your hand. Fire. Every tool you have in this body. Who are you? Who are you that want to go? Who are you that want to go? You must tell us. I don't have the name. Then you will die. Hey. Today you are dying. Just let me go. I won't come back. For where? What have you done in the family? What have you spoiled? What have you spoiled? Hey. You entered the wrong place, eh? How did you come here? I want to go. Answer me. If you don't answer me now, burn you more. Give me water. How did you come here? Give me, the, give me the fire water. How did you come here? I'm asking you, how did you come here? How did you come here? Fire on your face. Fire. All of you. Cut fire. Your kid will catch fire. fire. Your kid will catch fire. Cut fire. Your legs burn. Fire. Your legs burn. Fire. Your legs burn. Fire. Your legs burn. Fire. All of you. Cut fire. All of you. Cut fire. On your clothes. Cut fire. In your head. Cut fire. On your clothes. Cut fire. All of you. Fire. Fire upon you. Fire. Fire upon you. Fire. Fire upon you. Fire. Fire upon you. Fire. Who are you? Who are you? You. Look at this one. Who is this one? By your right. Who is she? She's one of those that's supposed to serve me. Eh. So what have you done to her? There's no reason in this one why she will ever concentrate. She will never concentrate. Nothing will make her concentrate. Okay. What of other children? This one you are speaking of. What have you done to this one? One. Yes. This particular one, I want to ruin her. You want to ruin her? Her marriage? Her career? Yes? Her marriage is already a don't deal. It's a don't deal. You have scattered the marriage. You don't want her to marry. She will get married. She will never, she will never what? She will never get married. What have you done to Ese? I told you he will come back. He will come back? He will come back. With what? He will come back. What of this one? What have you done to this one? This boy, look at this boy. Which boy? Look, open your eyes now. You have your eyes. Look Which at him. Boy? This one. <laughs> See the last one. What have you done to him? This one, spirit of play is in him. Spirit of play. I, I, I can't, that word is already there. It's going to be there for a very long time. It's going to be there <laughs> for a very long time. You have killed him. <laughs> this one. <laughs> he, 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 I just placed the spirit of play in him so that he will lose concentration in everything he do. Okay. He will lose concentration. <laughs> Who is the next one? <laughs> the one is 
What did you do to Rose, the fourth daughter? What have you done to that one? <laughs> she won't get married. Eh? Ah, she's married to your shrine. Then what of Ebuka? What have you done to Ebuka? <laughs> Ebuka, that one is different. I can't touch him. You can't touch him? I can't touch Ebuka. What happened to him? <laughs> I don't know. I just can't touch him. Yes. Shot fire. Fire! Eh? The more I try to penetrate, the less I get to him. I can't just get You know that him. one day God brought that Ebuka to me. And oh, yes. God told me that that one is his servant. Yes. I called oh, him yes. and said, you know you are a servant oh, yes. of God? He said, yes. This oh, is yes. what the idol is called. You shall fire. Fire! What else have you done to him? What do you do to their father? What have you done to their father? Their father is bound on that covenant. The covenant I had with his father. He's bound. What of the wife? <laughs> the wife has always been the one guiding him. If it's not because of the wife, he would have been a dead meat. I would have killed him. I know, several, I know two, two, year, two years ago, uh, God showed me how you use a white cloth to wrap the man as a dead man. Now, where do you stay in the compound? Where is your altar in the compound? <laughs> I have my main altar in a place they call Uloshe. 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 <laughs> yes. In the village, old house. Old house. Old house. Yes. Yes. you know the place. <laughs> okay, that's where you. That's where your shrine is. That's where they're supposed to uh, worship you. Who among them is worshiping you now? <laughs> Almost all of them. They are worshiping you. Yes. Almost all of them are worshiping you. Yes. Except this family. Yes. Oh, this one is the only one that left. Yes. Choice, they must join them. They cannot. They are for Jesus. You are a devil. You know you are a demon. Yeah, In fact, where did they bring you from? <laughs> where did their forefathers bring you from? <laughs> their forefathers. They just arranged me that if I save them in time of trouble, that they're going to serve me forever. And I did. I protected them. Do you know how many years ago I've been protecting them? How do you protect people when they die, when they don't make it? How many of those people bought a limousine? How many of them have trailers in the, in the, on the road? How many of them have sheep in the sea? But I gave them life. I gave them Are you the owner of life? <laughs> Jehovah God is the owner of life. Hey, I want to go. I just want to go. What of go? Fire you! Fire! Your Fire! Fire! In your shrine! Fire! On your body! Fire! In your power! Fire! 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 Go! Now, quick. Boom! I command fire on that star. Fire. I command fire to. If I lose them, if I lose them, how am I supposed to face my chief? Eh? Will I face my chief? I lose them. How will you face your chief? How will I face my chief? My chief, my chief now. What is the meaning of chief? It's a useless chief. There is only one Chineke. His name is Jehovah. Oh, yes. Almighty. Oh, yes. The God of Israel. Yes, sir. Your name is a demon. Yes, sir. You are a demon. Yes. Fire on you. Fire. You're going. By fire. Go. By fire. Go. By fire. Go. By fire. On your shirt. Fire. On your body. By fire. Your chief. By fire. Go. By fire. Your chief. By fire. Go. By fire. Your chief. By fire. Go. By fire. Your shirt. Fire. Go. By fire. Go. Lose them. By fire. Oh. Lose them. Put the stone in the river. You go and take it. You are going now. <laughs> I don't want to. What did you do to the house? In the, 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 he's building the village. What is your father's name? CY. What happened to the house? CY is building in the village. He took something and I put it around. All oh, his finances died. Fire in that place. Fire. I release fire. 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 Fire. Lose CY. By fire. Lose his ass. By fire. Lose CY. By fire. Lose his ass. By fire. Lose CY. By fire. Lose his child. By fire. Lose his children. By fire. Lose his wife. By fire. Lose all of them. By fire. 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 All of you. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Fire. 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 What are you doing? <laughs> I had to appease my chi. I, I can see he's them. offering sacrifice to the chi. <laughs> I, I want to burn the chi so you know chi has no fire power. 
Fire your teeth. Fire. 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 Fire your teeth
from the infallible word of God. Restoration TV shows you the true purpose of worshipping God and enjoying the benefits of the way, the eternal life of God, refueling your soul, enlightening your mind and filling you with the gospel of Christ. Restoration TV keeps you focused on the right path every minute, every day and every hour. Your faith and joy shall be restored with a miraculous word. Watch Restoration TV on my TV says like cable. Days of services are Sunday 8 a.m., Tuesday, Wednesday 5 p.m. and Friday 6 p.m. at CRBCI Way, Dawaki Extension, opposite Guarimpa, Abuja. For more information, please call plus 234-809-6287-452. Plus 234-817-1534324. Our social media handles are www.twitter.com slash restoration tv1 www.facebook.com slash restoration tv www.youtube.com slash restoration tv www.instagram.com slash prophet ib www.instagram.com slash prophetess faith ib and our website is www.crbci.org.